Schneider from Good Enough Games, and I'm the creator of Cooking Customers, the fast-paced, stick-it-to-your-competition game where you play cards, roll dice, and try not to get fired. My family has owned a restaurant here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin since 1960, so I'm very familiar with all the ins and outs of the restaurant biz. One night, I was playing a game with my wife and kids when the idea struck me for a game. What if we created a game about all the horrible things that happened in the restaurant? Things like burns, cuts, health inspections, and the worst complaining customers. And then we rolled all those things together and put a humorous spin on the whole thing. And that's how Cooking Customers was born. I figured everyone has either worked at or at least eaten at a restaurant, so everyone should be able to relate to some aspect of the game. I really love playing games, but I hate games with complicated, hard to understand rules. So when I created this game, I wanted to make it simple to play without taking away from needing to use strategy against your opponents. In cooking customers, you will need to get cooks equipped on yourself in order to roll the custom dice and cook meals to serve your tables. The goal of the game is to earn $20 in tips. However, along the way, you will have to avoid horrible kitchen injuries, health inspections, complaining customers, and so much more. But don't worry, there's help to be found as you can increase your dice rolls with energy drinks, coffee, trainees, robo cooks, and so much more. So let's dig a little deeper. The game consists of 120 main playing cards, 85 of which are completely unique and non-repeating. You'll have 36 table slash scoring cards, which show the number of meals you need to prepare on the front and the tip you earn on the back for completing the table. You'll also have 30 meal tokens for keeping track of your meals, four custom meal slash fired dice, and an easy to read and understand instruction manual. Each player will need a cook and play in order to roll the custom dice. Cooks vary in ability from being able to roll one to four dice on your cooking roll. The dice indicate whether or not a meal is prepared to serve your table. But be aware, if you roll and all the dice say fired, you'll have to get rid of your cook. The front of the table cards indicate how many meals you need to complete the table, and the back indicates how much money you earn in tips. You must be the first to earn $20 in tips to win the game. When you have a quick cook equipped, you can roll the dice. For every meal you roll, you place one token on your table card to indicate a cooked meal. If you roll all fired dice, you must fire your cook and discard them. The blank side of the dice has no effect either way, but you can add dice to your rolls by equipping positive cards on yourself, such as energy drinks and other cards like that, or you can take away dice from your opponents by playing negative cards on them, like burnt hands, uh, tripped and fall, slipped on wet floor, and others. We have over 30 plus and minus cards that add and subtract dice from your roll and all of them are unique, no repeats. This makes for great replay ability. We also have thieves, health inspections, kitchen fires, so much more. We have 10 unique customer complaints cards, but don't worry, you'll have the chance to deflect the cards by attempting to cook the customer or by using the instant kill cards, such as the simmer down card. We threw everything we could think of into this game to give you an albeit humorous and far-fetched version of what it's like to work at a restaurant. As you may have noticed, uh, the cards have many different colors. We have done this to help players know what kind of cards they have in their hands at a glance. So for example, all the cook cards are black, all the customer cards are orange, the minus cards are red, and so on. So. Scroll down uh, and check out an unfiltered review of our game by Michael Wright over at Unfiltered Gamer. And if you like what you see, support our Kickstarter and we'll make this game a reality. Thanks for checking out our Kickstarter.